Okay, for those who want to know what happened, um, we finally made it. It was not an easy journey to get the abutment off, but this is how it happened. Uh, we were trying to isolate because we were thinking drill out. So we took a rubber dam clamp, a Butterfly 212. Once I inserted that, I was playing around a little bit with the rubber dam material, and all of a sudden the abutment started to come loose. We didn't know if we had a loose abutment or a loose uh, implant, but um, eventually it did come up. So I'm going to show you how that, uh, how that actually uh, looks now. So we were able to grab this abutment with the pair of hemostats and out it came. All right, so there's the strum, and now you can further and guess and investigate the cut that was made on this. And if you really look closely, you can see where the operator did go all the way through. And thank goodness he stopped um, at the um, at the abutment. So if this is the abutment, uh, that's where he stopped, just in the neck of time. Didn't want to go too much further than that, and would have ended up right in the implant itself. So that's good news for the patient. Now we have to thank her of what now? Uh, if you come to my seminar, you'll understand that how important it is to clean the threads. So there we are looking right at the threads. And uh, so first thing is to pre-soak. And, uh, and then I'm going to investigate to make sure there hasn't been any internal damage with uh, with our case. So up we go a little bit. And we'll suction the lingual. And again, I'm going to pre-soak with tartar and stain. We're not going to take any chances here. And uh, up it goes. So you can see they did nick the top of the implant a little bit, but not enough to cause damage. I'm looking at the internal connection. Let's see if we can put a little bit in there. There it goes. So there's tartar and stain. I don't really see much bio burden in there at all. Um, I think we're dealing with basically a, a continuum from the day of surgery. Maybe just a little bit. Threads are intact. No problem there. You can see the little ding. There's a little nick right here on the buckle right there. And nothing on the lingual. We'll check the entire rim. It looks like it's intact. And there are the four flat surfaces for this internal connection. Now we're going to use a micro brush all the way to the threads and work it. And then we're going to use our go between. So the go between will clean the conical, the internal connection of the stramen. All right. I'm going to bring her up just a little bit. Sorry I'm shaking a little bit here. I'm under high magnification. Let's see. There we go. So I'm looking inside. I can actually see the cereal but the I can see the cereal. Let me have the microsuction. Cereal numbers in there. I'm trying to see if the torque that was applied uh, caused any issues internally, because that abutment should have just come right out. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that the amount of torque that took place, that amount of torque that took place, could have uh, turned the metal into the implant of the abutment. And you know, there's flat surfaces, and if there's any micro movement at all, it might find a little home. I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly here, but I'm checking all surfaces now, make sure we don't have that. And uh, here's the serial number on that lingual. Well, our surgeon's going to be happy. This is all looking good. All right, so internally we're good. All right, so now we got to make a temporary. Uh, we got that go-between coming. Here we go. I'm going to put some more material in there, and then we'll just make sure everything is clean. And we'll look at the, the threads. We'll look at the uh, cleaning, the go-between itself, uh, which looks like this. Here's our go-between. We just push that in place and work 
it and just spin it. Now we're dealing with a surgical environment now because we had to flap some tissue to find out what was going on. So that looks pretty good. So let's finally we'll just go in and rinse all that out. All right. Keep the water flowing and we suction that out. Alright, it's a happy day. Folks, if I said it was going to be easy, I, I would tell you, but it's it's not. Uh, you got to have patience. This is not a, a slam dunk of a uh, project. So I'm going to go ahead and get the abutment out now and the screw. Have that all ready. Here's the abutment. We're going to pre-fit this now. You know the rest of the story. Uh, from here on out, it's beyond the rescue. We have got ourselves, you know, a nice case, and we'll finish it all the way out. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo reporting from Boca Raton on a, another rescue case. I uh, hope you would enjoyed it, and if you have any cases, you feel free to run them by me, or, or you can absolutely refer them down. We'll get the patient back to you looking sound and safe. Take care.